Back here in South Korea, the city of Koyang is hosting an exhibition that seeks to share hydrogen's potential to revolutionize the global energy industry as it's long been hailed as a green solution to the world's plight amid climate change. Our Shin Hayoung was there. The use of hydrogen as a clean source of energy is becoming more important due to climate change and the energy supply chain crisis. South Korea has been taking a bigger role in the global hydrogen industry. Before transitioning to a hydrogen economy, countries and companies around the world are competing to take the lead. South Korea has already done so in the field of hydrogen utility, especially in the mobility sector. This was said on Wednesday during the opening ceremony of the H2 Meet 2022, the largest hydrogen exhibition in Korea, previously named the Hydrogen Mobility Plus Show. At this year's exhibition, around 240 companies and government organizations from 16 countries are showcasing their latest technologies related to hydrogen production, storage, distribution and utilization. A hydrogen-powered police bus is one of Hyundai Motors' flagship models. It doesn't emit any gas nor doesn't make any engine noise. The company also unveiled a street cleaning truck that's powered by hydrogen fuel cells and is expected to be commercialized at the beginning of next year. SKENS, a liquefied natural gas provider, presented some of its hydrogen technologies and products. Like its electrolysis equipment that produces hydrogen from water, a hydrogen storage system and a hydrogen-powered forklift. Domestic steelmakers POSCO plans to achieve carbon neutrality by 2050 through its technology called Hyrex, an eco-friendly hydrogen-based reduction steelmaking model. Currently, there are still a lot of difficulties in hydrogen production like large conversion costs. I hope the government deals with these issues with new policies. Companies like us can accelerate their investments when the government provides support like incentive. Prime Minister Han dok said that the government will diversify the country's hydrogen production and look at ways to revise the regulations in order to support technological development and investment. Meanwhile, the Ministry of Trade, Industry and Energy announced on Monday that it has selected 19 tasks that will help accelerate companies' activities and secure safety in the hydrogen industry. Companies have been sending suggestions to the ministry since June this year. Shin Arirang News.